Text me when you get home. creepy ass games with me boy guys so thank you so much for joining me and i'm here today with the cast of tough love hey, guys can you, you <laughs> woo -woo, can you tell viewers who you are starting from anisa <laughs> left to right to Dasan. Good afternoon. I'm Anissa Lachey and I play the role of Jackie in Tough Love Atlanta season two. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? My name is Dasan Onyx Frazier and I play the role of Rome. Uh, I play the role of Rome in Tough Love Atlanta. Who's next? Hello, y'all. My name is Ashanti Harris. I play the role of Aisha. How you doing? My name is Leslie Cherie, and I play the role of Princess Saul. What's up, everybody? My name is Kadeem Isaiah, and I play the role of Kenny. Ooh, Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> that dog on Kenny. <laughs> so we have Cleo TV, Tough Love, the entire cast. We're talking about misogyny, arranged marriage, in my opinion. Dirty laundry, social media popularity, fake relationships, cover up, sexuality, the entire what it, what what could go wrong did go wrong. So um in season one, tell us about the perfect storm, the chaos that led to where we are now. Well, within season one, we uh we see five friends, five interns who come together. Uh, they're trying to break into the music industry within the city of Atlanta, Georgia. And they start by interning for an event planning company who does a lot of events uh, for the music scene within Atlanta. Uh, but the company itself was built off of a PPP fraud. Uh, so as you can see, if that's the foundation, a lot of, a lot of dominoes are, are going to fall following from that. Uh, they're blindsided about this. And uh, yeah, we see where their lives has taken them uh, since season one. Uh, Jackie, she goes through, you know, her situation as far as, you know, with the law. Um, and, and everybody has their struggles, you know, ups and downs. And now we're here, season two. And this, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. It is a mess. I will say that. <laughs> Anissa, your character seems caught between a nightmare of people pleasing and trying to find yourself while pregnant. Now. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you prefer protagonist roles or the villain? And what about this role stood out to you knowing that there was no win for you in the beginning? Mm. Honestly, I typically prefer the role to be the protagonist. Um, and for this particular role, just a little background, I auditioned for the role in less than 48 hours before filming. So I honestly didn't have a lot of background on what the script, anything. I was literally blind to um, everything. But for Jackie in season two, um, I think a lot of people feel like she was she might have been the antagonist in certain situations in season one but i feel like those lenses will start to fall off and people will kind of start to feel sorry for jack in season two <clears throat> i agree <laughs> now leslie um why do you think your character was so dismissive of kenny's behavior about his ex because i feel like if i gave him that 
playing field to be honest with me from the rip about the relationship. It will make him feel comfortable enough to just talk to me about it. So if he even had the thought of maybe going to see her or talk to her that I would know first. And one of the episodes, I want to say it was episode either one or two, I told him that I would rather his body there and mine here than his mind there and body here with me because I... No woman wants uh no woman wants his man, her man cheating, but also no woman wants another woman has it having her man's mind. So I feel like if I open that space to you to just be honest, that if he even felt like he wanted to cheat, he would be feel comfortable enough to tell me. Obviously, as we're getting more into the season, we see that that's not the case. So yeah, <laughs> I was wrong for that. <laughs> I was wrong for trusting him with trusting me with him telling me exactly what he you know was doing. Lord Ashanti. Now, why were you so fixated with well not you? This is let me separate the okay, case. I'm gonna <laughs> say I'm sorry, I'm driving. I'm, I'm here, but I'm driving. I'm sorry. That's okay. I understand. So why was your character so fixated with the success of social media? Um Aisha, we don't know too much background about Aisha, right? Um, right. So social media is her way to feel seen, um, feel heard, because before season one, before she ran into these interns, uh, Aisha, she didn't, she didn't, she, she's not a friend person. She doesn't have other friends. And I don't even know if I would fully consider um, everybody in the season her friends. She's there because she has to be. She got thrown into this um this situation so she's like stuck with them now so um social media is her thing because she wants to feel seen and feel heard and that's she feels like that's the only way that she can get that wow now kadeem (laughs) your character is doing some crazy stuff off the top that i would not like i'm like okay i see stuff like this on the news every day now, what about this role made you happy that you didn't apply for the PPP loan in real life? <laughs> um, I did apply for it, didn't get it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm quite jealous. No, I'm just playing. Um, yeah, man. Can't, you know, we were just speaking about this. You know, it, they're still cracking down on the PPP loans as we speak. So a lot of y'all, hey. It's, Put y'all ducks in a row. Make sure y'all pay these people back. Um, but yeah, yeah, we see a we see a lot going on with Kenny uh, from season one on into season two. I love the con. Me personally, I love the controversy. I love it. Uh, I love the toxicity. Um, I like me. I'm a fan of shows and stories that are gritty. I don't like to be too polished. Uh, but we see a lot of. Kenny struggles with balance, and he's always struggled with that since season one, and that's something we all struggle with. So, yeah, that's 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 how I feel about my character. Love him to death. Now, the sign. <laughs> you say that you're not on the side, but <laughs> you kind of are. So, well, how did how did you incorporate? Um, well, your mentality into this role like okay I'm number one and this is what it is yeah um when I was developing Rome man it was really just like it was really just like knowing where he came from knowing the past situationships coming up with the past and how he's dealt with relationships in the past and now he's getting as he's getting older things got to change you know you can't just keep doing this you know, have a little girlfriend here, have had his girl run into your mama house crazy. It's time to really build a foundation, right? And so when he ran into Aisha and he encounters her the first time, he's seen a lot of positive things with her and in and, and her personality. And this, at the end of the day, is somebody that he wants to be with, right? So when you want to be with somebody, Right. You're going you're going you're going to make it work, whether whether they have red flags or not. You got to you have to know what you're going to deal with and what you're not going to deal with. And so while Rome is approaching this situation in this relationship, he's just trying to be the best man that he can be and, and, and kind of put his foot down like, yeah, this is this is how I feel about it. And and I don't like it or I do like how you do this. And 
you know, however she responds to that is is how he's going about this relationship. And he's just trying to be patient with her. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how I found that balance with Rome. Okay. I can respect it. <laughs> now, what did you learn? Um, you've all played in other roles. How did this show challenge you to tap into your who you are as people deeper from what you've already learned in film? Me personally, I feel like uh, this role was right on time. Uh, we see season one where Kenny is, uh, he's putting it all on the line. And that's where I was in my life at the time. Uh, it's, it's funny because I really wanted to be Drew. I wanted Drew's character. Um, mm. Mm. Just because, again, I love the controversy. I love playing characters who aren't the, you know, they're not the hero all the time. I, I like, me personally, I like to be the villain. Um, but so so blessed, so thankful that uh, Ronnie and Caleb saw the character of Kenny within me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I really didn't have to dig too deep. You know, I, I resonated with who he was and what he was about and what he was going through. The man was homeless. You know what I'm saying? The man was living out of storage unit and taking care of his family at the same time. So I, I know how it feels to have a lot on your shoulders, right? Back against the wall. Um, and I'm a person, I'm, I'm very stubborn, but I'm also, uh, uh, perseverance is, is, uh, it means a lot to me. So I saw that within Kenny and yeah. It, it resonated with me perfectly. I didn't really have to dig too deep within anything. Okay. Do anybody else want to answer that question? No. Okay. Bet. <laughs> so he hit it. He hit it on the nail. Yeah. He he did his thing with that. Oh. Okay. Now, um, have you had any instances like when you were younger that you know what I've outgrown these decision this decision making? Um, and what was that situation for each each of you? So I'll start for me. Um, I'm like hitting that peak now, and I'm 32. Um, I feel like once I had my daughter at 29, I started kind of changing from the young girl mentality to a woman mentality and certain things that I used to do or deem okay when I was younger no longer fit the perception of what I see myself growing into as I'm stepping into this bigger age so me being 32 now it's like certain things like you know going out every weekend if I'm looking for something more stable or me spending money recklessly when I know that I want to buy xyz that's way more important or pay off this you know so just growing up and learning lessons and just knowing like okay if you keep doing these things you will never get to where you want to get to so you need discipline yeah I'm experiencing think... that right now <laughs> So I think yeah. for me, um, just growing out of the people-pleasing phase has been something that's been very pivotal in my personal life. Um, and I think it ties into the character of Jackie. You know, she's wanting to make her parents proud. She's wanting to, you know, follow their lead in a sense of what they feel is best for her. Um, and for me, I've gotten out of that. Um, I'm not going to be with someone just because this person thinks that, you know, they're a great fit for me. I'm following my heart in all things. Um, so, yeah, if it doesn't feel right, I'm not doing it regardless of what anyone else says. And that's just where I am. Now, um, do you all think Drew is really in love or is he just an opportunist? He's not here, but... <laughs> I th I think I, uh, uh, you can you can go ahead. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Let me get my life. Okay. Um, I I think that Drew is well. Ooh, I don't know if I want to say in love, but I do think that he loves Lisa and that he wants to be with her. I just don't think he knows how to go about it because he's done so much damage to her heart. And once you damage somebody that much for that long. 
it's almost impossible to come come back from that, especially a woman. Um, so I, th I think they hit their, or Lisa hit her breaking point with him, even though she's trying to get back in um, or let him, allow him to have his chance. It's, it doesn't seem to be working because she's, she's so torn and hurt by his past experiences. Hmm. Now, this is about uh, Clio TV, this question, uh, the importance of representation, a station that honors Black film work. What does that mean to you as professionals in the entertainment industry to be part of that? It means a lot just to have those spaces where, you know, we're represented, represented, excuse me, I don't know where that came from, but have those spaces where we're represented um, in multiple lights. Um, if you've seen Clio TV, you see that they have, you know, different shows and it's not all drama. You know, you have some lifestyle shows. Um, and I feel like it's important to be able to showcase Black talent, um, not just in sports or, you know, negativity, but just to be able to see us in all walks of life. And I think that's truly, truly important. Okay. Now, Tough Love I, is the... Oh, I'm sorry. You can go. No, I was going to say, um, I like Anissa said, I think it's very important. And I think it's a blessing to even be able to be a part of something like this. Um, and I think that it allows us to, to be ourselves, to be our Black authentic selves, um, or at least showcase that in in different lights so i'm i'm just happy to, to i'm happy to be here okay <laughs> um, and then i just want to touch on just like we are we got at the end of the day you know as a black community we 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 uplift each other we can be on top of the world so i do want to give a shout out to our creators caleb and ronnie davis who are a married couple um they've been doing this for a very long time with the tough love series and even more um, and they doing their thing. They doing it well. They've been married over fourteen years, about thir over thirteen years now. And uh, to 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 do that and and to do that with your counterpart is is and to be doing it well at that. You know that's that's very big. So really, shout out to Cleo for for believing in them, and then shout out to them for believing in us to help bring their stories and 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 make it come alive a little bit. Yeah. Now, with Tough Love, uh, this is a standout show. This is not, you know, one of their smaller shows. This is one that's like up there with Dynasty, okay? So yeah. with that, uh, what what is the takeaway for viewers at, with season two? What do you think makes it so popular? I, I, well, we discussed this already, um, but we think what makes it so popular is that every person's lifestyle in this is something that you either went with, will go, th went through, will go through, have witnessed someone else go through. Um, and it brings up a conversation to be had because some things you might agree with, some things you might not agree with, or some things you might see yourself in and be like, dang, yeah, I'm doing that and I'm watching somebody else doing it and that's not right. So let me change my ways. Or it's just something that period is just like, these are realistic things that are going on, especially in Atlanta. So it's definitely something to be talked about. Well, I would love to get a PPP loan and not get what y'all got. <laughs> 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 in the same token. Now, this is my last question about the show. Um, when y'all received the notes in the dark, what when you read that in the script, what what were you thinking at the time? The notes in the dark where, uh, when you, you mean about our secrets? Yes. Uh, how did he know that? You know, he, <laughs> dug up, he dug up our biggest, darkest secret. I don't know if I know that. You know no, saying? like seriously, serious. Like me, like, I feel like the others is like, okay, you, if you did some digging, you could figure that out. But for Jackie, come on, my boy, how you? <laughs> Get that information. <laughs> I think I think that's something we can touch on um in the future is figuring out how did they figure all these things out? Mm -hmm. How much research did y'all do? How do you do you know like how how? That's that's the question. So I feel like we could show that, you know, maybe in next season, maybe at the end of this season. You never know. 
And I want to say as a person who didn't receive a note, but when we were like reading the script and even just watching it play out on camera, because obviously if you're not every scene, you're not there to see it happening. But I think the notes that as the season continues and y'all got to keep watching, when you find out those specific secrets, it's going to make you realize why some of the characters are actually the way that they are. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, That's crazy. crazy. <laughs> That's a good one, Leslie. <laughs> so what do you wish your character would have done more of or do you think your character is perfect the way he or she is Aisha's perfect I'm <laughs> kidding <laughs> but um I think <laughs> I think Aisha should do more um self-analyzing because she's not she like I said earlier she doesn't really care about any anybody else is feeling she she wants to do what she wants to do and I don't think that's necessarily okay I think she should start considering other people's feelings in these situations so um yeah if I had to answer that I would say consideration um being more selfless that was a good one that was a good one thank you guys (laughs) I think for Jackie um Again, just doing more, following her heart. Um, a lot of people feel like, oh, money can't buy happiness. But in her case, that's not true. She came for money. Um, so there are certain things that she, you know, was already accustomed to. But you will see that money can buy real love. And that's something that Jackie really wants. That's something she really needs. And I feel like she feels that she's found that. But again, she, she has other people in her ear. So... Definitely following her heart. I think that uh, Princess Doll, um, she needs to figure out whether she wants love in Kenny or whether she wants her career and pick which one she's going to put more focus on because teeter-tottering the two is doing more harm for the relationship than, yeah, good. I would have to say for Kenny, I wish Kenny would just sit down. Sit down, man. Um, Damn, that's not the bag, man. Well. That's not the bag, man. Um, but you you know what? Um, yeah, just I wish he had stopped putting himself in these situations. But at the same time, I love how things are playing out for Kenny because, hey, men, we get better with time, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, and we get better by learning lessons. And these lessons that he's learning is is going to mold him into being someone who he he's going to stand on business, meaning in this situation, meaning he's going to do the right thing. He's going to be honest and, and he's going to know trouble when he sees it and he's going to have the discipline to, you know, just do the right thing. So I, I love what Kenny is going through. I, I honestly don't wish anything. I'm just happy to see how, you know, things are playing out for him. Look, he's like, I know you ain't talking about me. The side dude, okay. <laughs> let me ask you, okay. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Well, let me ask you, what you think Ron could do more of from what you've seen, and what you know about him so far. Oh, I'm just, I, I want you to dig into your character. What can you do? Like, if you were in his shoes, what do yeah. you think would be different, or how could you have done something differently? I would say. Ron could do a little bit more self-healing. You know, I think there's, I think Rome has some insecurities from like past relationships that, that, that get him a little riled up. So when he, when he, you know, at first you can see he's trying to be smooth with the whole situation that's going on. But like, as time goes on, which I think is valid for him to express his, 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 his opinion and his feelings he kind of gets um, a little bit more irritated, you know. Mm. So I, I think that he could. I think that you know he can he can work on um, his self his self his his self more um, and his in his in his his inner work, you know, before he goes and and just try to accuse her of. Yeah, I don't, it's kind of hard to say that though, you know. Like we haven't seen Rome do anything super off the wall yet. 
um to 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 say like oh he's tripping like that but if i was to say something i would say a little bit more self-healing and, and just trusting um because he wants to be with her just a little of what she has going on if anything mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Okay, that was good. <laughs> so, okay. are you all working on anything else? Um, currently not working on anything at the moment, but um, I did just finish a series called Gris that'll be out at the top of next year, um, on the streaming platform All Black. So y'all can check that out when it comes. For sure. Um. We just wrapped, I just got done with Tyler Perry Straw, tar, uh, starring Taraji P. Henson. We ended, we wrapped that at the end of June. So that should be coming out sometime next year. Uh, not currently working, oh, sorry. Yeah. Not currently working on anything right now. Um, I just wrapped on a short film on Sunday. Um, and then I did an industrial shoot with Bank of America. Um, for their training. So if y'all get a job at Bank of America and you go do training, you might see me. But um, <laughs> yeah, just auditioning though. Yeah. Yes. Um, I have a movie coming out called The Vegan Version, which Kadeem plays in as well as a love yeah. interest who broke my heart. Um, <laughs> he's always breaking my heart in everything that we play, clearly. Um, message. No, but um, uh, that's coming out in October um on Amazon Prime and Tubi and then I'm about to wrap up a six-part series called The Love Connection where it is a married couple and we um seduce females um kill them for their life insurance policies oh lord yeah <laughs> so where can I be this is my last question where can our viewers follow you and stay up to date with what you all have going on you can follow me at Dasan.Fraser on all platforms. That's D-A-S-A-N dot F-R-A-Z-I-E-R. And I'm going to pop up on your screen. <laughs> you can find my page at B Ashanti Harris on Instagram, TikTok, all that. You can follow me um, at underscore Anissa Lachey, A-N-I-S-S-A. L-A-S-H-A-Y. And you can uh, find me at Kadeem Isaiah, K-A-D-E-E-M-I-S-A-I-A-H. Oh, you can find me at <laughs> Leslie Cherie underscore on all platforms, L-E-S-L-I-E-S-H-E-R-I -E -E underscore on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. And you can also follow the Tough Love series at the Tough Love um, series on Instagram and Twitter. We have the Tough Love or we have Tough Love ATL if you want to tweet while you're watching it. And when you watch it, make sure you tune in every Thursday night to Cleo TV at 9 p.m. And if you need to catch up on episodes, it comes on TV One at midnight. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you all so much I enjoyed you and I wish you much success I know you have like a lot of drama so we expect the more seasons to come right for sure it's crazy sure. y'all gotta watch it get, get our views up y'all <laughs> turn up now nah. appreciate thank you. you thank you